What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Spain. And so to pick up where we left off, we're actually uh, progressing rather nicely. I'm slowly, incrementally building up my navy and shipping off those spare naval forces to the Ivory Coast. We have taken Rome, we share a border with the French, but that might not necessarily be a good thing because they, they're starting to not like us. Quite significantly, so uh, I think we need to spend the next few turns just strengthening what we have rather than going too far on the offensive side. So we are at war with the Ottoman Empire, but I'm curious as to how far I want to actually take it in the view of having a, a France that not only shares a border, well, one less of a border now with me. Um because they will sooner or later turn. So Prussia's demanding a military alliance. No, I am not going to give you an alliance. I'm more than happy to trade with you and provide you some bonuses in that way. But I do not want to actually um, tie myself tie myself to you in such a way that I would be honoured, honour bound to uh, to make war against you. I think it would be could be worth still fighting against the Ottomans, especially pushing along to Cairo, because that's a very valuable territory and it's one that's more easily defended than potential others. The Barbary states want peace, but they're not going to get it because we're going to destroy them in this turn. We have a Catholic missionary in central Italy. So Rome is pretty, pretty darn Catholic. As you would imagine. Let's go down to Naples. Naples is actually pretty darn Catholic. But what we're going to want to do is to ship him over to the North African coast. So let's get him down to Syracuse. So. We have a new town. Dundee. Congratulations Dundee. Have a craft workshop. But I'm going to want to beef up the economy of Naples, because we know Naples does produce an awful lot of cash. Let's spend some money boosting your economy. So we've got Rome back under control. We could potentially, in a couple of turns, demolish the seminary. But let's get a new road upgrade and also a new drill school with an eye on the fact that the French do not like us very much. Then let's recruit some galleons to be sent over. Well, I might actually want to build up another navy. Well, build up a navy to, to guard what I've got, but then also send some ships over to another trade zone to pick up more varied supplies. Probably be worth getting a commercial. Well, we need to start hedging our um, bets against the French, because not that it's not that I'm inherently distrustworthy of them. Um, I just uh, don't think we want to take it for granted that we're allies. So we could probably start off with getting some Spanish Grenadiers de Marina. We could probably stand to start. Recruiting some troops. As well as spending, dropping a little bit more cash in the Americas. Because we will be looking to steal these French possessions soon enough. Okay, make sure you guys are replenishing what you can. Let's hop back to Europe. See, they're trying to kill my general. Let's just put them under siege. One more turn to get separation of powers, which is pretty powerful, as well as the next level. We get naval architecture advances, which allows us to build a dry dock, which gives us up to second second rate ships of the line. Yes, indeed. Good stuff. Are we upgrading? Do you have anywhere, anywhere that's upgrading to a great arsenal? 
I don't think so. That's one for next turn, for sure. Yeah, the French are warring with the Austrians. I could join them in their great war again and uh, secure Venice, but I don't really want to do it until Austria make me do it. And if they do make me do it, I would like to defend Italy, but push up through the Balkans. Although it looks like they are coming through in numbers. We may end up fighting them sooner rather than later. It could be a very good reason why the Ottomans haven't been able to expand northwards into Europe. Oh hey, Mughal Empire. That's annoying. I still got fifteen I still got fifteen thousand though, despite that. So what ships have you got? Sloop, fifth, sixth, fifth. First of all, let's do the techs. So Salamanca's gone on to Rights of Man. Yes, to get the modern university. Seville has gone on to Reform Naval Administration. No. Go on to... Hmm. Probably Puddling Furnace. To gain that nice flat bonus to wealth increase for metalworking buildings. Yeah, so there goes. So here's one of our first. Hello. Trade zone secured. So we have two fourth rates here. We can join this fleet down here at Sandy Bay. So let's take two of these fifth rates out. And replace it with two fourths. I might actually take a couple of these fifths to just go and make the uh, the Mughals clear off. Go away. See, the fifths are becoming surplus to requirements, so I'm not entirely bothered about keeping them. Actually, let's take our two weaker ships, combine them attack. Just chase them down and kill them. Oh, I don't want the sloop. But you men might sail to Oran to be re to be replenished and then sent out to somewhere else in the world. So, let's get the next level ordnance factory. Let's get the military academy to keep our Research rate of military techs high. Let's also get... Well, we have got cobble roads there. That's a lot of stuff we can do. Metal roads from uh, London and Madrid, which is excellent. Attempt to upgrade this port here and Cartagena as well. So they're hostile, so... They're ripe to attack us. You, in fact, may... Get two grenadiers from here. You've only got two demi cannons, so let's supplement that with... Two 12-pounders. Because this army may be called up to uh, rush to the aid of Rome. I'm going to actually start to recruit a handful of reinforcements here. Get you guys down to Syracuse. Yeah, he keeps trying to kill Geronimo Nadal. I know that's not how it's pronounced, but eh. So what navy have you got there? Still mostly fourths. Okay, let's hit end turn. My spy is still working his way on towards Cairo, but I think we've already got one there, so really he's going to be going on to Jerusalem to get a bit of early warning. Once we've taken 
Ooh, the Austrians have taken Berlin. So there go the Prussians and there go a valuable trade resource. It's only a matter of time before we are also at war with Austria to find out who the true sons of the Catholic Church are. If they start making too much progress towards France, then we may be forced to um, generate an army to go defend mainland France from the Austrian devils. So let's keep building up our strength. Good. New Spain's been clearing out some enemies in the Far East. Well, in the East Indies. I'm surprised they haven't just... They keep trying to kill us, but I'm happy to let you guys just deplete yourselves to death. Okay, Marrakesh. Let's just get you guys a craft workshop. Let's get you guys upgraded roads. Upgrade these buildings here in Portugal. And then let's supplement you with two units of Regimento de Soria. Let us also upgrade Sandy Bay to a dry dock. And let's also build... Can't build two galleons. I can build one fourth rate. These chaps are... Replenished, so they're going to sail out to the East Indies as well. Um, we could probably do worse than upgrade this fishery. Although actually, well, we don't have enough to rebuild to build better roads there anyway. So trundle up some reinforcements to Geronimo. Yeah, let's upgrade the fishing fleet. Oh, then town will grow next turn anyway. It's got lots of growth in Naples. Growing at 54 turn. Then Potenza is also going to grow, which is town there. Just put, just put these guys up north as a bit of a tripwire. Just on the bridge. stuff. Yeah, because we've got Cairo. I would like this uh, this army just to slowly trundle their way along to Cairo, and that's why I've got this this uh, rake working his way to Jerusalem to see what's hiding behind the lines. We're about to get improved grape shop. That's very much by the by, but it is Cambridge, so there's only so much I can actually do with that. But yeah, so if I can keep converting population of North Africa. Yeah, Austria is growing. Growing in strength. I might... Well, I've got my home fleet, which would be more than enough to help protect my... my ships. My ports in the Mediterranean. But I do always want to try and maintain a certain level of naval dominance. Good old New Spain's clearing out lots of our enemy, lots of our opposition um, there. Oh, there we go. Let's fight. Oh, so the garrison from Tripoli is sallying out to fight us. So let's do it. Let's do it. Because that will cause the end of their... Well, the, end, the faction isn't ended yet, but to be honest, there's no... There is no immediate need to uh, push, and you know I'm, I'm not rushing to, to bring the war to Ottoman shores. I am more than okay with taking a bit of time and using this as an opportunity to continue my offensive while at the same time um, spending my economic strength in other areas. Yep, 
did. We lost these units. Armed populace. And they've got some Barbary pirates somewhere. Okay, let's use my gunners to engage the walls of the city. Because if push comes to shove, I want to be able to um, I want to be able to attack them. Here are my marine grenadier. Lovely. Got his eyeglass out. Nothing to see though, because uh, the enemy are being tricky. Okay, once I knock out knock a hole in their wall, then I'll be happier to push. Because then at the very least we will have uh, a way in. So do I, I might have to target you guys every volley. No, thankfully not. Well, not every volley at least. I'm actually missing quite a lot as well. But still, let's knock a hole in this wall. Hopefully... I mean, they're quite nice on populist units. Especially as they're... Oh, okay, that's armed populace with melee weapons. That's armed populace with firelocks. Which, firelocks were like a slightly earlier technology than flintlocks. Yeah, the AI is doing what the AI does, which is when it, it spends a bit too much time um, reorganizing and repositioning its troops. Yes, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop the recording and bring you guys back when something interesting happens. So, see you in a second, everyone. Okay, so nothing's really happened, but we've managed to break a, uh, a hole in the wall, so we are going to push. So I think the reason why they are not pushing is because the AI has some units stuck in the central gatehouse, so that's why they aren't pushing, because they're waiting for that unit to get into position. So we are just going to uh, push ourselves. I, mean, I do have Spanish bandits in the line on the right, which is a bad idea. So let's build four units up like so. Spanish bandits can enjoy pushing the centre. You guys can actually block the gap there. You men push up to the gate. You guys are pushing up. Let's pivot you guys so we can get some more shots off. But the cavalry wants to be incredibly aggressive. So I've charged my bandits in. To be honest, it's just I've advanced very aggressively, chiefly out of boredom. <laughs> so push them up. There we go. You guys ignore all the action that's going on here and just get inside. You guys don't engage. You guys fire your volley off first. Nope, no volley. Engage. Get my grenadiers up here. You see, these guys were, were so close in the center. Yeah, the colonial militia routed due to mortar fire. Send my grenadiers in. Yeah, there we go. You guys fight the mortar crews. They'll probably come back. But 
attack them in the rear. They've lost one water crew team. Now they're going to lose another. There we go. Let's bring these guys across. Bring my grenadiers along. There we go. My militia came back. You guys charge into the back of those guys. Right, they're broken as well. And you guys form up just to shoot into the flank of that armed populace unit. Not being very clever, not being very good here either. Just. But sometimes uh, battles allow you to do that. You don't really need to be. You don't really need to be Alexander the Great <laughs> to win these battles reasonably well. Let's let these guys fire while the cavalry charge in and cease fire now. Yeah, because they've been they've been routed. We don't have a as well as I said before, we don't really have a, a blistering need to push too aggressively in North Africa. Um you know, I'll still take it. Okay, so we've got uh, we've got uh, improved grape shot. So Cambridge, you are now going to research wedge formation because there's nothing suitable for you to research. Let's get craft workshops for Algiers and let's get cobbled roads. Let's bring this gun team down to Tripoli. Let's bring you guys along to Tripoli. Yeah, minus five for now until we stop taxing them, but it's still minus four. Get our agent across. There we go, let's move this sloop up to Syracuse. Let's get this trading port to build a, a light galley. There we go, start to pick away at their religious unrest. Let's rebuild the military governor's barracks. Let's replenish the make sure the army is replenishing. Okay, let's keep. Okay, we need to be careful. So these two galleons can sail over to the East Indies. Let's build two more. Let's not build any more fifth rate, uh, fourth rates. Well, let's build not any more than. Three turns worth. And then let's upgrade an Iron Master's works because it's a fraction cheaper. And then we can fit in a unit of Tercio Pikes to the Madrid army. Naples has got. Okay, to be honest, we, well, we've got money to spend everywhere. Oh, I bet you guys can't leave yet, can you? Oh, you can. Okay, let's bring you guys up to the front, just so that if... I mean, we are allied with the French, nominally, so at least this looks like allied behaviour. Yes, yeah, so we took Tripoli. There are workers on strike in Tripoli, as is ex as to be expected. So you're pushing on to Jerusalem. Sicaro is, is a lovely territory to take. But we do have to be careful about the Austrians, although like I said, attacking the attacking the uh, the Ottomans would be a way to help build our strength against the Austrians. Hmm. Let's hit end turn. We pretty much want to use this period of relative quiet, such as it is, to bolster our forces and to upgrade our infrastructure to the point where when we need to declare war, we can spend 
as much money as possible on warlike things. Like right now, it is actually quite a gift to not have to spend money on fighting a war as well as upgrading the backbone of my economy. It's quite nice to be able to just go... I mean, the French were silly there. I mean, they won, but still silly. It's quite nice to not have to um, do both, really. Hopefully New Spain is clearing out more spots for us. There's a riot in Tripoli. There's going to be a, um, a revolution. Get two more units of infantry to fill out the army. New town emerges in Swansea. So Swansea gets a craft workshop. Let's upgrade the Iron Master's works. We could up should upgrade the Classical University in London, although that's going to cause an amount of upset. Fleet arrives. Good. So let's see who who is where. Yoink. <laughs> okay, let's even this out a bit. There we go. That's two stacks of three. There is diminishing returns, so every ship you add on it, they don't add the same amount. The more ships you add, the fewer um, resources your ships bring back per ship. Okay, let's upgrade you to a commercial port. I mean, Lisbon's crying out for stuff, but so is... Morocco. Actually, did we upgrade? Yeah, we did upgrade the town there. Good. Okay. It won't be long before we are called to fight against the Austrians. And they are making ready for a push against the French once more. So let's hit end turn. I may want to steadily boost my French, my um, Italian holdings so that I've got armies to defend both the east and the west of the mountains that run down Rome, run down Italy. Because the Austrians are coming down in force. They are going to take north in northern Italy. They just will. I mean, I expect the French wish that we would join the war against the Austrians because we could actually pick away at their naval holdings and dominate their small trade. But I have no interest in that at the moment. Like I said, I'm I'm really valuing... Ooh. No, because they're allied with Austria. Well, counteroffer, just trade. Nope. I didn't want to give them any technologies because I did not want those technologies making their way towards Austria. Not that they have much of a naval presence. New town emerges in Naples. Okay, so let's pick up some more basic infantry. In Spain itself, like I've got loads of Royal Halberdier Guard, I remember you. So much stuff. Get two more Walloon Guard in Spain. But again, do use this chiefly as an opportunity to upgrade our economic backbone so it's another two galleons ship them over to the east indies probably do with upgrading this dry dock get two more galleons one more turn till the dry dock is complete here let's actually move my agent a bit close to the front line to have a bit of an understanding of what's going on 
Which I might send him down here, actually, to get a better look at the northern Italian front. Madrid's got their Imperial Palace, and it could upgrade to Palacio Real de Madrid. It's probably a very good idea. For now, I've got 16 hundo. It's a great craft workshop in Dublin. So right now, in terms of regions, so this income is gross income. It's not including actual tax income. So Madrid has a higher tax rate. So even though it's producing less money overall, I'm probably earning more tax income from it. So Madrid, I'm earning 2,769. Whereas in London, I'm earning... 2,712. So even though London is earning more money, it's just a simple, simply just a question of I can tax Madrid more. And it should still grow fairly well because we've got lots of towns that still need to upgrade. One more turn till we get Puddling Furnace and one more turn till we get Wedge Formation plus Military Academy which means that we can pick up some of these new model bayonet drill and reorganized procurement technologies. I mean, increases our upkeep, but uh, we will need to expand our armies quite significantly. So at least the upkeep, the project, the um, procurement cost is down. So here are two more, two more galleons. Ah, okay. So this is all we're going to get. But at least it is a region dominated by allies. So let's send our galleons across. We managed to hold off the uh, rebellion in Tripoli, and we can actually tax them. So soon, once this once Tripoli is brought under control, they can march up to Cairo. And I'd be tempted to try and ask the Ottomans for peace because they're not actually allied with the Austrians. We're not, we're not at war with them, but they're just not. At... Mm. They got good relations with the Austrians. That's the concern. You could do with an ordnance factory. Okay, let's hit end turn. Yeah, the French need to send a lot of troops south because they've got to plug a big, big gap in the northern Italian front. Well, a in a imaginary gap. I don't know if there actually is a gap. In the French navy is doing... Uh, the French invasion fleet is doing wonders. Yes, they are pushing the Austrians back. I have no interest in declaring war on France or breaking our alliance, but I do have an interest in France remaining strong, because that means we, there's an entire land border we don't have to worry about. I should probably actually give them some uh, a state gift of some description, because right now we don't actually uh, have we don't actually uh, have terribly good relations with them so let's start small diplomacy France yeah they're unfriendly we they don't like how we dishonor treaties chiefly let's give them some finest China you want to try keep them on board our, our Financial situation is already expanding very handsomely every turn. So let's upgrade the iron workshop, let's upgrade the weaver's cottage. Focus on let's buy this iron let's upgrade this iron workshop. We should probably just upgrade the upgrade to the top level government building in Spain right now as we can. Although, I would like to upgrade, build some, start churning out some big ships. We could display some of the, well, these two fifth rates with two third rates. Or, do I just take this army, this navy, and go, okay, it's led by a galleon, so it's roughly about the right size. I don't want an admiral to be leading a ship too small. So do I say this navy is actually a good enough navy to send over to the Ivory Coast to help protect these trade ships. I think that's the way to do it. OK, 
Okay, we, we need just we just need to keep burning some turns to keep uh, Tripoli on our side. Okay, so wedge formation we got. Let's, they've moved on to cadence marching, which might not be a good, might not be a good idea. Puddling funnels onto machine tools is a good idea. Cadence marching for Cambridge, I'm not sure, is the right call. But then again, there aren't many low tier techs that you can actually go for without causing, without just spending too much time researching. I mean, Copper Bottoms is actually pretty good. I mean, it increases the recruitment cost, but it upgrades our speed and our movement range. So that's quite good if you want to try and maintain naval dominance. And it's still the same amount of turns to research as what they were doing before. So yeah, Russia is not happy with us. Russia is not happy with us because their <laughs> um, their enemy Austria also doesn't like us because of how we dishonor treaties. I mean, the Mughal Empire. I might just try peace and trade with them. Uh, no, I'm not going to give away my islands. There you go, our spies continuing to creep down to northern Italy. At the very least, any troops we recruit to garrison, or to be honest, if we boost the garrison of Rome, then our army that's currently squaring up against the Austrians can um, land and attack Syracuse. I mean, you're, you are being very bold with a full stack of troops. Oh. Not a terrible outcome, because that protects our east flank in North Africa. That means we can focus on the Balkans. Interesting. So we can attack Greece and secure Athens. And that also gives us naval bases in the, or towards the Adriatic or Nipple. Which we've already got bases in the Adriatic. Hmm. Maybe the Aegean, that's where we get our bases. I mean, I could just finally knock out, take out Genoa, sat there on Corsica with just a bunch of conscripts. It's probably a good idea. No, I'm not going to give you any technology. You're fighting my ally. France is my own is their only enemy, so no. I am not going to help you. Again, I'm not going to help you tech up Austria against my ally. I want France. I want. I'm, I'm treating France the same way I'm treating New Spain in this regard. I'm not interested in taking them over. I just want. A strong ally. A strong ally I can trust. So let's get you guys down. I want to see the state of what the French garrisons are like. I mean, they're not giving up that fight. Rossidois, very experienced there. Royal Bavier. Nice. So we've got two more galleons split up amongst these ships, but then that means that's all of the uh, trading I can actually do, because we know that's a new Spanish fleet there. Okay, let's upgrade you. Let's upgrade you to the max governor's, governor's building. Then let's get... So I don't want to lose ship this army or navy away completely. So let's move them over to Casablanca. So let's get a core of second rates to be the start of our new home fleet, and then this fleet can sail away to help protect our trade advances. Rights of man has been researched, so we could upgrade. I mean, I suppose we kind of have to slowly. Ooh. Actually, where's my? Upgrade this, upgrade you to a pleasure garden. Might want to wait till the Palacio de Madrid is researched. If we've got, where's sec? Have we got secular humanism? No, not yet. 
Well, I definitely want one modern university at least. Two more galleons in the channel. So these galleons are going to sail to... I mean, it's still ivory. But I'm going to sail them over to the East Africa Trade Theatre to see what's going on there. And this galleon at Bristol as well can join them. So... Let's upgrade the tobacco warehouse in Cuba. We don't need any more spies here. So let's move the spy up to Damascus. As for you guys, uh, I mean, I'm curious just to see how they're doing. Minus 17. It might take an awful long time or I'll slowly have to start recruiting another garrison force. But yeah, this army might be shaping up. Well, maybe not this army, but this army. Now they've taken the French have taken Cairo. They are going to jump up and probably hit Greece, because Greece are only Greece are at war with the Russians, and that's it. So I might take Patras. I mean, the Russians are pushing. They're pushing into Ottoman territory. Yes, they are. Interesting. So it would probably be better to secure Tripoli sooner rather than later so that we can send troops across to take Athens. Sorry, I just bashed my desk there with my knee. The French are shipping in even more troops. Their capacity to recruit large amounts of men should be, should be noted. Don't worry, France. I have no intention on declaring war on you. I am happy for you to be strong. I mean, I, don't, I doubt the Austrians will declare war on me, because it serves them no interest to do so. Yeah, I'm happy to simply focus on bringing uh, Tripoli into the fold and upgrading my economy. I think I probably will boost my Rome garrison so that the army in Rome can push um, east. Maybe. Limited construction that turn. Upgrade you to commercial basin. Let's hop over to Rome. Naples can get metal roads. But let's get the last grenadier unit that I can recruit for that unit type. Let's get some elite troops. Let's get Naples. Upgrade. Well, let's upgrade their economic buildings and upgrade the governor's palace. And then Rome, you can also get some more infantry. You're going to stay put. Slowly start to stock up on colonial dragoons here in Tripoli. But in terms of cheap upgrades, well, 400, well, less than 500, you don't want to get any good upgrades at this point. Except keep funneling money to replenish these troops here. Okay. They're not even good ships to take 
They're just building sixth rates. Next turn, we'll start to get some additional ships of the line. I mean, the French have got an open field right now. If they wanted to push eastward in the Middle East, they can, and they might. Slowly taking control over these Ottoman ships, the, these Austrian ships. Well, I think in the long term they are actually going to push them back. I think the Ottomans might start freaking out about now. Counter offer, just a trade. I do not want to give away technology to you. Good. Okay, so. Ooh, a few new towns. Tunis. Let's get your roads upgraded. To be honest, let's just spend a bunch of money in North Africa for now. You know, lots of good industrial buildings. We've got a droid like in Portsmouth, and Cambridge has been upgraded to a classical university. So one of you needs to become a modern university. They're going to hate it. I'm fairly sure I have no more towns in Madrid itself. But what we do have are some ships of the lines. Let's... I can't get a new admiral because I've just built a new... Okay, that can wait. We can build some second rates. So then these ships here can sail off to West Africa to act as a bit of a guard force for our trade. Okay, let's see what's where. And it looks like a good amount of these places are up for grabs. So grab them, we will. Doesn't mean we need to build some more galleons to take advantage of it next turn, though. Yeah, we've got you. You're over there. So we've got 24,000 coming in per turn. But the big thing is to make sure that I'm not... Well, I mean, I am relying on that trade now at this point. Madrid's growing by 91. London's growing by 82. Okay. Let's crew a militia unit. <laughs> so dragoons are good units for um, for maintaining control over your territories. I mean, religious unrest will be huge if we can help get rid of that. If I can get rid of that, I'm going at three percent a turn, so I'm getting a good amount of of uh, religious conversion. I mean, Naples is really starting to pop now. I mean, Naples is getting up there. Five more turns till I can get, till I've got my top tier. My top tier government building in Madrid. I'll help keep them under control. There's a chance I might have to demolish a building for another... I mean, yeah, France is creating a Middle Eastern Empire. It is concerning to me. Poor Austria, fight them. Don't spend all your time boosting your troop counts in Venice. I'm going to need to get on this. We can't just keep letting the French pick apart the Ottoman carcass. I need to land. I think that's going to be the army near Rome is going to have to be called into action to land in Greece. Yeah, if the Ottomans are going to fall quickly, 
I don't want to be left with nothing. So let's upgrade a couple of these. Well, as many of these tax earning buildings as we can. Upgrade a handful of handful more ships. Get a couple of expats, a couple of units of infantry. Let's upgrade military academy. But the big news will be getting a sloop here. Hopping back up to England, getting two galleons to ship out. Still can't build a. Uh, still can't build a. A recruiting admiral. Sorry. Thirteen turns till Anaba is built. That's just another harbour building. Thirty-six turns till Tatooine is built up here. Positive 2, minus 8 becomes minus 7. Still got a few turns to wait. But yeah, this army is going to hop aboard the sloop that's built, that will be built in Ravenna. Then they'll sail and hit Patras, then push on to Greece. Yeah, if the French are going to be building... Ooh, they lost a ship there. Good. To be honest, I just need a lot more ships. A lot more ships pretty much everywhere. Go on, Austria. March on them. March on them. Counter offer. I was willing to just trade with them. If Russia were to offer me a trade agreement now, I might take it. Because I want to try and counterbalance the strength of Austria and France against each other. It's a pity the Mughals won't accept a amicable arrangement. Let's move my rake up. Well, to be honest, let's move my rakes, plural, to the part of the world I'm going to be interested in. There we go. This fleet can remain in, can remain in position to help protect my trade, because that's now worth 18,000 a turn. Let's keep upgrading. Two more second rate ships. So San Julian can be upgraded to an admiral. Bernardo de Negrerios. Got to be very careful how you say that. So many infantry types I can recruit from Spain. Okay, 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 okay. So, I mean, that's not a bad garrison. So, move all my sloops out. Get you guys embarked. Let's sail you down to Patras. Could probably do with actually blockading or raiding some of their shipping in the meds. That's probably a good... Well, let's recruit some privateers to do that. That would work. But let's drop troops. <laughs> I'm going to declare war on Greece. I'm going to land in this port here. I was going to say, they thought I could just land and run across. So you men are going to march on to Athens with its prosperous trade port. Let's raid this trade region here. Let's 
So Naples. Yep, Naples is booming pretty good. Cagliari, let's get roads for you. And let's upgrade your... Actually, let's not upgrade your government building yet. Let's check. Elsewhere. Gibraltar doesn't have good roads. Actually, no. Let's get another galleon ordered because I really want to try and fill out the Straits of Madagascar zones. There's still a free one and each of these only have one ship on there. So ideally, I, th I think this is rem remembering something from years ago that the uh, the optimum, optimum number is three. Anything more than that is still good, but it's just not as good as if you could... Um, well, like every ship you add on more than that, it becomes decreasing returns. So the Swedish agent is continuing his crusade along the coast. Nope. Greece has made peace with Russia and they're about to try and make peace with us. So we've researched Copper Bottoms. You guys crack on to Carcass Shop. Okay, we've upgraded the mines. Okay, let's upgrade the Iron Master's works. Let's upgrade the fishing fleet to a major fishery. Barcelona's been upgraded to a maximum happiness building still gonna be dodgy we're gonna have to have a proper um a proper garrison force to keep them keep them from uh, causing too much trouble so let's get some gorillas Keep upgrading our ship, keep upgrading our naval capacity, but also following that up with economy upgrades because we really don't want to be dropping behind too much. Chuck on a couple more galleons. Could upgrade the Jesuit College, but instead I'm going to come down here and we're going to attack the Greeks. We're going to attack Greece and take Athens for ours, for ourselves. We're going to have a, uh, we're going to have some involvement in this, in this uh, pecking of the, of the Ottoman corpse. We're not going to be left behind and forgotten about. Athens will be quite a prize. It will dent it will dent the Ottomans' strength. Okay, so our artillery is going to stay behind. This is quite a nice, quite a nice army that really only needs heavy cavalry, heavier cavalry, and a couple of howitzers, and it's ready to rock and roll for the next, or well, for the entirety of the uh, campaign. Because this light cavalry, or lighter cavalry, isn't terrible. It's just later on their only use will be raiding and chasing down fleeing troops. So. Let's advance up our line. So they've got lots of hussars. But there's only 75 of them, so they're already weakened. So you guys are going to wait. They're going to hold position. Well, no, you're not. You're going to charge out. Oh, 
All my artillery engage on the horizon. So who are they? There's more hussars waiting on the flank. New men can open up. My regiment of horse can countercharge that hussar unit. It's the Walloon regiments they really don't like. But sadly, it's just the bulk of their troops are just armed citizenry. Granted, they have, like, cool-looking pikes. They aren't exactly what you want. You guys stay. Come on, get over here. You guys attack the Hussars. Keep winding up the flank. Keep my artillery just attacking their general. One, there's one armed citizenry unit on the flank there. Yeah, well, there we go. Hussar units done for. And even if most of these armed citizenry units, armed citizenry units came back, they still aren't exactly terrifying to behold. Gap here. These men are making ready to engage the armed citizenry. Will they make a sound? They did make a sound. Hurrah! But yeah, they're just armed citizenry. Morale is poor. The capacity to make war is poor. They can't really resist, they can't really allow any any actual contact. If they receive any sort of fire, they're done for. Pikes can also chase down the Hussars. Regimento de Sevilla is bringing these Greek citizens down. There they go. They're going down in great numbers. Charge the general's bodyguard while you can. All of you guys just attack the armed citizenry unit, just take the kills. Cease fire the artillery. Cavalry attack every unit that's not shattered. You men can chase down the armed citizenry there. The general's been killed. You guys all charge this unit of armed citizenry. That's, oh, that's not how you form a pike, a pike line. You don't leave great big gaps in it. 
No, they're shattered. Everyone shattered. Poor, poor Greece. Because you never really expected them to stand against that army. There we go, the territory is ours. Let's demolish the college. This army can, can fully replenish, although it's... Okay, so next turn they should be happy because they've got clamour for a form. It's currently 15, becoming 16. So if we demolish the college, then we'll be on 0 or 1. The new men can push on. And we'll probably will attack Athens. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the Spanish invasion of, of Greece. Well, proper Greece. Athens, Greece. Radio. Cheers, everyone.